viewers welcome to engineering study materials today we are going to discuss about the vacuum impregnation method for the processing of polymers it is a method it is widely used in industries because of the production of composites with very less defects so let's get into this video it is a process in which the resin to fiber wetting is assisted by a vacuum the defects in the cured laminate can be minimized it is used in many other process related to frp fabrication or autoclave molding vacuum assisted compression molding vacuum assisted resin transfer molding the main uses are production of parts of large size with close tolerance on thickness and parts requiring a precise resin to fiber ratio so that the resin wastage is reduced then molds the fiber reinforced plastics cast aluminum cast iron molds are used in this process the heated matched molds can be used in this process and inside surface of the molds are highly polished or chrome plated because the inside surface of the mold reflects on the outside surface of the it consists of many parts such as resin tank needle valve resin trap heaters heating jacket resin control valve etc the resin tank filled with resin is supplied with the compressed air this compressed air causes the resin to move through the pipeline to the resin control valve before the resin control valve there presents a heating jacket which heats the resin to the optimum flow and it allows the resin to flow inside the mold the in the mold also contain heaters to heat the resin to get a flowable state and then one side of the resin, resin tank is connected to a compressed air so that it compresses the uh, compresses or pushes the resin to move through the mold and other side it is connected to the vacuum line so that it sucks the air from the top of the mold so that the resin is evenly spread on all parts or all sides of the mold so that no air cavities or some other gap is present in the part so that a complete part with a tight tolerance can be obtained the resin trap is present so that the wasted resin is connected collected and the needle valve is attached to the vacuum line so that it can suck the air the reinforcement layer is already placed inside the mold and when resin touches the re reinforcement it wets the reinforcement and then uh, cured for some time so that we can get a complete product of a composite product so this is the short video friends if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching